Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how I created this three foot by seven foot uh, epoxy wall art using um, MDF material and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight colors. And I, I used a mix between Rolio and eye candy pigments in my epoxy and I used super clear mostly super clear epoxy, tabletop epoxy, and yeah, anyway, uh, let me show you how I did it, let's get started. It always starts out at my CNC table, and right here I'm cutting the river. Um, I plan on putting a river down the middle. Now this time I'm not going to do LED lights. I'm actually going to cut a two inch slot and put some rocks and glass and seashells in the middle of this river. Right there you can see it's just making multiple passes until it gets wide enough. And I believe I, I did a two inch one and I cut it a half inch deep. This is, material is three foot by seven foot and it's three quarter inch MDF. Once, once I get the river slot done, I change the bit and put in the keyhole slot bit. And then I need to flip this material over and cut the two keyhole slots that I'm going to use to hang this picture or this, this artwork. The keyhole slots are pretty strong. Um, I was worried about this picture because it's, it's so big that maybe I should have uh, had some alternate hanging um, for it. But I think the keyhole slots, I checked it and it seems pretty strong. Right here I get it out on my bench, I vacuum it all off, and very similar procedure to the last one I did. I'm going to, I'm going to use some um, kind of a gunmetal gray uh, paint and paint the top and bottom of this piece of artwork. Each one I do, I learn something new, and uh, this one I'm, I'm going to basically put everything I've learned so far into this one and I'm going to try to pour I'm going to pour the river probably today after this paint dries and then I'll wait and I'll pour the whole rest of it the very next day that way I'll be I'll have some good blending and I should get some good um, some good contrast in the epoxy with cells and different things so right here, the, the paint's all dry, top and bottom, and I'm mixing up some epoxy, and I'm going to fill up this river. And I'm using, um, I'm using a blue uh, from Eye Candy. I forgot the name. I'll list it in the description. It's the same one I always use. Oh, Okinawa Blue. And then I had, I had bought these rocks. So I, I was hoping that they would fill, it would fill the whole thing with rocks. And so right here, I make sure the table's level. And then I fill in the epoxy with these little beach rocks. And then I realized that those weren't really enough. So I, I got some glass and some seashells and uh, added those to this river. Basically, my plan was to just do the river today, let it cure, and then come back and do the whole thing in one day. Here I add some glass, push the glass into the river nice and neat. And then I had a few of these little bigger ones, and so I added some of these little glass to, to the, I just put a few here and there in the river. The next day I tape off the whole thing. This project, because it's three foot by seven, by three foot by seven foot, it's gonna take two gallons of epoxy to finish this project. And uh, I thought it would only take a gallon, but it, it took two gallons. And I used super clear tabletop epoxy. Right here, I lay out all my colors. Um, I'm using multiple colors from, from Eye Candy and Rolio. 
This is a two gallon kit from Superclear. That's my favorite epoxy out of all of them. I've used Total Boat, I've used epoxy from Home Depot, I've used epoxy, I've used uh, Art Epoxy, I've used um, some epoxy from the True Value Hardware store, but this Super Clear is my favorite one. So now I order it direct from the company and you can get a good, pretty good deal ordering it direct. Right here I'm mixing up a pretty big batch because I want to start off just, just attacking this thing. I'm going to lay down a base of clear around this river and then start working my way out. Again, the, the room temperature is really important. You can see there I've got my, my pellet stove on down here and I've also got the heater on right now this morning. And the room is actually pretty warm. It's in about 73, so it's perfect temperature for pouring epoxy. Right here, I'm going to fill up all these different colors. I'm, I'm putting in about two cups in each one of these. And the excess I pour over the river. The first batch is just clear. That way, when I mix these colors, I'll be able to blend it in really nicely. I'm going to start off with some 14 karat gold from eye candy. I torch the river and then add this gold. I tried kind of a new technique where I swirled it around. I don't think that made a huge difference. When I, blow, when I end up using my blow dryer, that's what really adds the creativity to the project. The blow dryer is definitely my secret weapon for sure. Right there, so right now I got 14 karat gold and then I've got Okinawa blue. Now this is a green that I add on both sides. I'm going to try not to go too crazy on the colors. I'm going to do a lot of the same colors. Right there you can see I'm using my blow dryer to really create some movement in that epoxy. So far the blow dryer has been my my key my key tool. Right there I torch out all the bubbles. Start mixing another batch. Right here I'm going to do a different color blue. It's a little darker and I'm going to add that to this side. It's crazy how each one you do you you really have no I mean you can you can have a little idea of what the colors are going to look like but when you start using the blow dryer and and really blowing the colors into each other you every one of these things turns out different and that's I think that's why I really like doing them is they're they're each one is really unique right there I add some black on both sides and this black is some Rolio uh, pigment I did end up for the first time mixing in some acrylic paint into the epoxy. I had ran out of the white uh, pigment. Right here you can see I'm blowing that white through the blue and green to the gold. And I do that on both sides. Then I torch it out, get rid of any air bubbles. Torching is pretty important. You really need to keep an eye on it because the bubbles will continue to come up until, until a certain point. And then I just keep mixing. And I'm going to go back to some of the similar colors that I used originally and start coming on this outside. It was important for me not to get too crazy with the colors. I, mean, I do have a lot of colors in here. I probably have, I don't know, 10 colors, but they're, they're similar colors. In other words, I used the gold a couple times. I use the green and blue a couple times. I use the black. You know, I'm 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 layering going from the inside out. So right there I put in some uh gold and then next up I'm going to put in some more blue. I'm 
try to balance the top and bottom of this piece of art. And then you can see it's a different color blue. I try to, I try to do multiple blues and with different colors and then also adding, you know, quite a bit of green and to each of these different colors. Right here, you can see I'm blowing the blue and the gold and the green back and forth across there to get movement between them. Because the epoxy is curing at different, different times, it actually creates a lot of cells and stuff that really look cool. I'd say all in all, this project took me, it took me about an hour the first day, maybe an hour and a half. And then, um, then it took about three hours the next day and then another hour to hang it on the wall. Now right here, I'm going to actually mix some acrylic, some white acrylic paint into that epoxy. And that actually worked really well. I'm, I'm gonna do some more of that in the future. I was happy with the way that worked. Right here, I pour the, I pour this white on the outside of this blue. And then I blend that with my blow dryer. It almost looks like an island in the middle with ocean on each side, kind of, with some like crazy, crazy seaweed in the water or something. But it does look cool. I, I Actually, I'm really happy with the way it turned out in the end. It's weird watching the video and editing it as I'm going because it, it, it completely transforms each, each time you add a color in there and you blend it in there. Here I put some green into the white. Right here I torch it out. I like to torch it before I add the next color. And here I add some more blue. And this is a different color blue. I forget what color it is. I think it was from Rolio though. Right there I torch it out and then I, I like to torch it before I hit it with the blow dryer. That seems to have a good effect. Right here I'm blowing the blue and the white and the green across the whole project. I blow it across and then I blow it back. And it seems to create some really cool effects. Do the same thing on the other side. As long as you put a little heat to it, like tor when you torch it out, you can, you can get it to move. And I just keep going until I get to the outside of this painting. Or this piece, of, I keep calling them paintings, but they're really just a piece of art. Right here, I'm going to use some, some more acrylic because I ran out of the black pigment. So I'm going to use a black acrylic paint and mix in with this epoxy. And we're almost to the end of the, the project. I've got two more colors to add. I'm going to add this black. And then after the black, I'm going to add some gold. And see if I can't create something cool with that. And at this point, I've pretty much ran out of, that's two gallons of epoxy at this point. Right here, I mix up two cups of um, 14 karat gold from eye candy and this will be the last pour and I think my camera actually ran out right before I was able to show you how I blue dry how I use the blow dryer on this last bit there I go I torch it mix in the last bit of my epoxy and this is a green color that I'm Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I really enjoyed making this and each time, each time I do the epoxy art, I learn new techniques. And this one I poured, I poured the river one day and then I poured everything else in the next day. And that seems to work a lot better. I can, I can do a lot more blending and um, it seems to turn out better. And the cells in the epoxy really come out nice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.